Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be learning about the origin, insertion, nerve supply and action of the muscles of the body. To begin with, let's look at the muscles of the scapula region. Firstly, we have the supraspinatus. It originates from the medial two-thirds of the supraspinous fossa and the upper surface of the spine of the scapula. In order to remember this, we can remember the word supra that is common in both the supraspinatus and the supraspinous fossa. Now looking at the specimen of the scapula, the supraspinatus originates from the medial two-thirds of the supraspinous fossa right here and the upper surface of the spine of the scapula. Now let's look at the insertion of the supraspinatus. It inserts into the upper impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus. Now to remember this, as supra relates to a higher level, we can remember that it is inserted into the upper impression which is at a higher level of the greater tubercle of the humerus. Now as you can see here, this is the greater tubercle of the humerus and this is its upper impression where the supraspinatus is inserted. So as a whole, we can observe that the supraspinatus originates from the supraspinous fossa right here and inserts into the upper impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus. This is the supraspinatus. It originates from the medial two-thirds of the supraspinous fossa and the upper surface of the spine of the scapula. It inserts into the upper impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus. Moving on to the nerve supply, the supraspinatus is supplied by the suprascapular nerve, which is easy to remember. Now the action of the supraspinatus is that it helps in the abduction of the arm and it stabilizes the humerus. It helps in the abduction of the arm and it stabilizes the humerus. Moving on to the next muscle that is the infraspinatus, it originates from the medial two-thirds of the infraspinous fossa and the inferior surface of the spine of the scapula. In order to remember this, we can look at the word infra which is common in both infraspinatus and the infraspinous fossa. The infraspinatus originates from the medial two-thirds of the infraspinous fossa as you can see right here and the inferior surface of the spine of the scapula. Now looking at its insertion, the infraspinatus is inserted into the middle impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus and a way to remember this is that since it comes next to the supraspinatus and since the insertion of the supraspinatus is on the upper impression of the greater tubercle, the infraspinatus comes just next to it that is on the middle impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus. As you can see here, the infraspinatus inserts itself on the middle impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus. Now as a whole, the infraspinatus originates from the infraspinous fossa right here and inserts into the middle impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus right here. This is the infraspinatus muscle. It originates from the medial two-thirds of the infraspinous fossa and the inferior surface of the spine of the scapula. It inserts into the middle impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus. Moving on to the nerve supply, the infraspinatus is supplied by the suprascapular nerve just like the supraspinatus. Now the action of infraspinatus includes the lateral rotation of the arm. As you can see here, it helps in the lateral rotation of the arm. Moving on to the next muscle, we have the teres minor that originates from the upper two-thirds of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula. Now we can consider teres minor as a small child since we have the word minor and since it is a minor we give it a upper position or a higher position so it originates from the upper two-thirds of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula. This is an easy way to remember it. The teres minor originates from the upper two-thirds of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula. Moving on to its insertion, the teres minor is inserted into the lowest impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus. Now to remember this, since it is a minor, that is it is a small child, to avoid it from falling down it is kept at its 
lowest position or the lowest place. Therefore, T is minor is inserted into the lowest impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus. The T is minor is inserted into the lowest impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus that is right here. Now as a whole, the T is minor originates from the upper two thirds of the dorsal surface of the lateral border right here and inserts into the lowest impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus right here. This is the teres minor. It originates from the upper two-thirds of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula. It inserts into the lowermost impression of the greater tubercle on the humerus. Now moving on to the nerve supply, the teres minor is innervated by the axillary nerve. Since it is a small child, it is different from others and is supplied by the axillary nerve. Now the actions of the teres minor include the lateral rotation of the arm. The teres minor helps in the lateral rotation of the arm. Moving on to the next muscle, we have the teres major that originates from the lower one third of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula. Now we can remember the teres major as a parent of the minor. The teres major originates from the lower one third of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula. Now looking at its insertion, the teres major inserts into the medial lip of the bicipital groove of the humerus. This is the bicipital groove and this is the medial lip where the teres major inserts. Now as a whole, the teres major originates from the lower one third of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula that is right here and inserts right here into the medial lip of the bicipital groove. This is the teres major muscle. It originates from the lower one third of the dorsal surface of the lateral border of the scapula and it inserts into the medial lip of the bicipital groove of the humerus. Now let's look at the nerve supply of the teres major. It is supplied by the lower subscapular nerve. Now as you can see this two muscles that is the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus were supplied by the suprascapular nerve. Right here we have the lower subscapular nerve. Now the action of the teres major includes that it is a medial rotator and adductor of the arm. Right here it was the lateral rotator of the arm that is in the infraspinatus and the teres minor they were the lateral rotators of the arm whereas the teres major is a medial rotator and adductor of the arm. The teres major helps in the medial rotation of the arm as you can see right here. That is it rotates towards the body. This is lateral rotation, this is medial rotation. So the teres major helps in the medial rotation as well as in adduction movement. Now this is the adduction movement of the arm. Finally we have the subscapularis muscle that originates from the medial two-thirds of the subscapular fossa, the scapula. Now this is easy to remember as the subscapularis and the subscapular fossa are both related terms. Now this is the anterior aspect of the scapula. This is the subscapular fossa and the subscapularis muscle arises from the medial two-thirds of the subscapular fossa right here. Now let's look at the insertion of the subscapularis. The subscapularis is inserted into the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Now as we have seen the supraspinatus, infraspinatus and the teres minor are inserted into the upper impression, the middle impression and the lowest impression of the greater tubercle. Whereas the subscapularis is inserted into the lesser tubercle of the humerus. This is the greater tubercle, this is the lesser tubercle and the subscapularis is inserted into the lesser tubercle of the humerus right here. Now as a whole the subscapularis muscle originates from the subscapular fossa right here or the anterior aspect and inserts into the lesser tubercle right here. This is the subscapularis muscle. It originates from the medial two-thirds of the subscapular fossa of the scapula. It inserts into the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Moving on to the nerve supply. The subscapularis is supplied by the upper and lower subscapular nerve. In the teres major, it was the lower subscapular nerve. But in the subscapularis, we have both the upper and lower subscapular nerve. Now the action of the subscapularis 
includes that it acts as a medial rotator and adductor of the arm similar to the action of the teres major right here i hope you found this video helpful to get updates on my latest videos click on the subscribe button to get notifications tap on the bell icon thank you for watching